Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland, this is Relaxation Hypnosis for Stress, Anxiety and Panic Attacks. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Please subscribe to this podcast. If you like what I do, uh, you can send me a PayPal gift at PayPal dot me forward slash Jason Newland links on the website as well as over 1,500 free recordings audio recordings to stream and download completely free they're all organized on there so it's quite a lot of stuff so this isn't going to be a long recording This is going to be fairly short, probably maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes max. And it's going to be a bit of a weird one. Well, weird, they're all a bit weird, aren't they? But it's going to be based on sending healing to another person. And you might think, What's that about healing? I don't want to heal other people. That's not what I'm on here for. Well, if you let if you let me explain, <laughs> basically, if there's somebody in your life that you feel perhaps not very kindly towards due to perhaps maybe their behaviour towards you. So maybe an argument, they've put you down, they've been rude. Um, perhaps online you've had someone say something to you that's very disrespectful. Um, today I had someone send me a message from my website calling me a fake. not 100% sure what that means I know what fake means but I don't know what not really sure where, where they were coming from with that so yeah that hurt a little bit you know that's just someone being cruel saying something horrible is emotionally quite painful for all of us it's, it's just natural When it affects your well-being, or when it affects um, your life in the sense of maybe that person's at work, and I've talked about this before, maybe there's a reason, you know, you perhaps don't want to go to work because of something that someone said to you or the way you've been treated. Maybe you don't want to go to a family gathering because there's a member of your family that... Um, was rude to you, you know, last time you saw them, or maybe you don't want to get on the bus because the bus driver was unfriendly, or you know, whatever the situation could be, there's a million different possibilities on this one, so it's a case of focusing on one that uh, resonates with your actual life. So what we're going to do with this recording is actually send healing to that person. And you may be thinking, why healing? First of all, how do you send healing? Well, it's just imagination. You're just imagining sending healing energy to that person. That's all it is. It's really that simple. So what I'll go through the process, I'll go for the process. You can do it however you want to do it. The outcome, well, you'll see the outcome. You'll experience the outcome. So what I like to do is make sure you're comfortable. Um, you don't have to lie down to do this. Uh, you can sit in a comfortable chair, 
as long as you don't just on the off chance that you get so bored that you fall asleep make sure that the chair has sides to support you so you don't fall off the chair someone said to me once years and years ago that they fell off a chair listening to me so ever since then I've been telling people make sure that you've got support and it's more just using your imagination so I want you to think of that person where you know your stress levels unfortunately have a tendency tendency to rise when you think of them it might be a new thing you might have been getting on really well with them and it might have just suddenly happened it might even be someone that you've not even met someone that you've heard about you know you're about to start a new job um, you maybe you're working with someone you've heard is a bit of a nightmare maybe someone else is about to start working there and you've heard stuff about them you know it can as again so many different varieties of possibilities here so I want you to think about that person now and ideally I would say don't pick like the most extreme situation to start with maybe pick something that is clearly a stress a stress inducing person you know in a sense of that's your reaction currently so you know as an example you know if i think of there was a person that worked in the chemist or the pharmacy and he was rude to me i felt he was rude to me i didn't like him because of that and I didn't kind of want to go back in there in case he was there and I was able to change my perspective my feelings towards him and now I get on really well with him but really um, it's because I put a little bit of effort and you know, it's almost, almost a joy, it's weird, but it's almost a joyful experience picking up my prescription. Anyway, so I'd like you to think of the person, and in order for us to see the difference and the changes that actually occur so quickly, is to get in touch with the stress levels that you experience in your body and in your mind when you think about that person you know one being very 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 low ten being the highest it could possibly be on the Richter scale of stress and as you think about that person just notice what level it's at at the moment and admittedly there is a possibility that it may have lowered since you last thought about that person because now you're listening to me you may if you listen regularly there's that association um, with a sense of calmness and a sense of changes occurring it's almost like your mind opens up to uh, some of the possibilities of positivity, you know, positive poss possibilities, if I could get the words out, that can arise. So you, you're, you're there with an open mind and you realise that things do change. And you realise that emotions can change quite quickly so as you think about that person notice what level it's at on the scale of 1 to 10 the stress level now all you're going to do is imagine that from your heart area in your chest 
there's a yellow light like a beam of light moving out of the middle of your chest and you can imagine you have a person you can even imagine them in front of you and that beam of light going in to the chest of them you don't even have to visualise the person just imagine you can feel it imagine that because you can actually start to feel the middle of your chest and it feels nice imagine that healing being sent even if it's just an idea of the healing being sent and being received by that person not consciously being received by them but it's just going into their heart it's entering their body that healing is spreading around their body that healing is spreading around their mind and whatever the thing is that they did or said or the behaviour that healing is softening that up it's softening that person it's almost like it's internally correcting it it's like there was a blockage between the two of you before but now that you've got that connection with that healing energy from your chest into their chest there's that connection which is flowing freely and easily and you don't necessarily know where they are or what they're doing and it doesn't matter you can imagine that that connection is there and that feeling and that energy of healing is leaving your body and connected with them and the good thing about this kind of idea of giving someone else love, healing, whatever it might be, is instead of decreasing the amount you've got inside yourself, whether it be energy, whatever, it actually increases it within yourself. So you're sending that person well, you know, to feeling well and to feeling you know, happier, more relaxed. And in turn, you actually feel happier and relaxed within yourself on a more increased level. As that beam of healing energy still continues. Just let it be there. just relax into it you don't have to do anything there's nothing to do now it's, it's, it's done you sent that healing energy to that person so now what I'm going to ask you to do is if you were if you had your eyes closed is to open your eyes maybe shake yourself off maybe shake your hands shake your arms maybe stand up if you want to and now think of that person and notice what level on that scale that we had before notice how it's changed notice how it's changed and you may be surprised at how easy it was for it to change and how those feelings that were arising before in connection with that person no longer are there it's a different feeling and imagine if you did this with everything and everyone the freedom so I'm getting that sense of it within my chest it feels really free 
and really light. I almost feel like someone's given me some healing. Just, I feel really nice in my chest area. It's nice. In fact, I feel pretty much completely relaxed. So I'm going to leave you on that. That's a very short recording. You don't get many short ones from me. So I'm going to wish you well. Remember to be kind to yourself. Because you deserve to be happy. And uh, I'll speak to you probably tomorrow. Thank you for listening. Lots of love. Bye.